What's up guys, Marius here back with another video. Today is a little bit different. Today we are starting off the day by doing some adulting. Adulting by, you know, responsibilities, man. I gotta go to jury duty this morning. Yeah, that's what we're literally about to do right now. Go to jury duty. I got selected. Handpicked. Yeah. Did a wedding shoot this morning. Your boy is just a little exhausted, a little tired. But um, it's okay, we gotta do this shit. Our life, our going up. Let's get this shit done. Yeah, yeah. I see my sister and her bibs are at work. She's a hustler, man. She's a bartender and now she does a brow. This is what she wants to do. Dang, sis. Oh! Yeah. My sister got some rolling trays. Whoa. <laughs> Thought you were part of the plan, but you toxic. Always getting in the way, catch someone I can stand. All right, y'all just got done hanging out with my sis and shit. Time to go back home. Still a little like rainy and wet, but it's okay. But yeah, let's get home safely and let's do this shit. Oh fuck, I hear thunder and shit. One of my sisters is a guest that there might be some hell, so I'm gonna try to rush home and get to editing. Yeah, dude. Dad's waiting for me in the back. I had to get my camera. Made him wait a little. There's a rooster in there? Baby, young oh, Okay. But yeah, I haven't checked the birds since I've been back. I'm gonna start off with the coop that I built last, where I put my hens and my, my babies at. Got my white kikariki hen in here. With their two babies, they're looking nice and healthy still. Yeah, they're starting to get their wings in, so they're starting to look nice and healthy, man. Very happy that I had at least two survive. Again, a lot of the eggs were fertile, but only two were really fertile. The other eggs, there was babies like developed inside of it, because I, I cracked the eggs, so I'm still learning, y'all. So I cracked open the eggs, and you can see that they're babies babies developed in it like chicks but none of them were like healthy like none of them were fully developed you could tell that you know they're still like a forming here my black my black kikiriki hen with their babies oh yeah oh yeah dude oh my god dude look at them man look at them bro look at them oh my god wow they're getting so big oh my god he shoots me right there yeah it's like the length lies at least these are half and half. These are half OGB, half Kikariki. Yeah. Below them, I do have my first hatches. Got my pure Kikarikis. They're looking good. That's actually OEGB. And those are my Kikarikis right there. And the one in the back, I'm actually giving away a part of my raffle that's going on right now. By the time you guys see this video, you'll miss on the raffle. But I have a raffle going on. You know, just a celebration and just to spread the love as much as possible. Again, spreading the love of Bantams by Little P Bantams and Maddie Ice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at these guys. Look at this. They got an egg in there, man. These are some pure Puerto Rican Kikarikis. He's still kind of young. I think he's just now hitting a year. Kind of like BB Red colored. So I just got I put them together. Yeah, this hen's actually by one of my good friends or Bantam Hill on Facebook. I the hell are they? Again, y'all, with the game farm, I'm still learning uh, with Bantams and stuff like that. Pretty much, uh, I'm pretty knowledgeable on those, but I'm still learning with the game farm. So I can't really tell the age by uh, the size. I'm on like the Bantams, you know what I mean? I just, dad just knows way more about the game farm than I do. <laughs> I've been dealing with five months worth of shit With everything I'm doing for you, by the it If you're gonna send me three texts in a week It won't ever be as two and with that being said, I do plan on uh, doing some videos on game foul blood, like certain bloodlines and stuff like that. Again, I'm just trying to get knowledgeable on all this stuff because I don't want to. I really want to do it proper and spread the knowledge and, and love for just chickens in general, man. The culture behind, you know, raising birds is, is just fucking awesome, man. And I'm, I'm just happy and thankful to be a part of the community, man. Everyone's a part of the community, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what I learned with like playing video games is learn how to like be a part of different communities, different groups, you know. Especially on Xbox, you could like search for people to play with that like have like, you know, um, communication, hashtag competitive. You know, similar to like groups on Xbox, we all have the same hobby. Instead of playing video games though, we all have the same hobby in raising chickens. And it's more so like um, for show, like uh, beauty pageants and stuff like that. And I think it's awesome because, you know, related to like fashion because I'm really into fashion. I don't know if you guys know this or not. Another way I like, express myself. And that's why I love these chickens though, like the rooster 
posters, they have the prettiest tails. Like, like I said, it's a beauty pageant, so like, it's a pretty boy, you know, and the pretty boy wins. It's like, it's relatable, you know what I mean? Cause like, that's how I got, why I got into fashion, you know, obviously to, you gotta look good for the hens, you know, out there in the world, you gotta look good for the, you know, the fishes in the sea. So that's really why I got into fashion. I just didn't feel confident when I was really young and going through adolescence. I didn't think I was a handsome young man. Just like a fun fact I thought I'd share with you guys and the reason why like I really like enjoy raising these birds. It's more than just raising chickens and eating their eggs and shit. You know what I mean? I, I try to breed the best looking birds, man. Um, well, that's at least my goal. Again, this is my first year, like really attacking it and going with it. The real reason why like I raise chickens, man, is just because it's, it's just very therapeutic, man. I'm glad that I could share this experience with y'all. These vlogs are just me capturing the moments of my life and sharing it with y'all because when I was in Germany, you know, that's what I did to, to learn, man. I, I, I uh, my dad was deployed and my mom was always working, so, and I was going through adolescence, so it was like kind of hard to talk to mom and stuff. The way that I learned how to become a man and develop who I am is definitely through the internet. You know, I used to look up videos on hygiene because I was uh, kind of shy and ashamed to reach out to, you know, uh, people around me. And again, my dad was deployed, so I didn't really like, you know, try to like call him while he was deployed. I wish I did better. Calling my dad when he was deployed, but it's okay, you know, we know now. Look at this fucking goat. He's gone! Look at this fucking guy, man. This guy is gorgeous. You know what I mean? This is what I mean, man. Look at that gorgeous ass bird, man. <sighs> but yeah, you know, you could raise, you know, reptiles. You could raise cow, horses, you know. But this is my choice of animal to raise, and it's chickens, man. I don't know, man. Just something about them, especially the small ones, man. When they're like literally as big as a fucking beer can. It's the coolest thing. Fully grown. You even eat their eggs. Mini, mini, mini omelets, bro. Let me see one of these eggs. This is a fresh egg laid literally like today. Go find one of my dad's eggs. That's a kikariki egg, and this is a regular egg. Well, this one's actually kind of big, bro. You guys can see it. It's actually like kind of long. It's kind of deformed, I ain't gonna lie. That compared to that. Okay, lay down. Okay. One of the most random things happened when I went outside with my dad. Um, these chicks hatch. Hold on, let me get this shit situated. Sorry, y'all. I'm not really good at dealing with this type of stuff. Um, I do not like to see any animals suffer. So you guys see me put down the camera or whatever, and like I'm not recording. It's just because I'm trying to tend to the animal, make sure that they're comfortable first before I get some entertainment for y'all. But yeah, here they are. That little guy on the floor isn't looking so good. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get some more heat on them, and I'm also gonna get some water for them. They were steady, stuck in the middle. Didn't realize what he's talking about, little by little. I'm feeling Checking up on the birds. So yesterday, like the weather was kind of like bleh. Uh, today's a nicer day. Yesterday, uh, I was also asleep, jet lag, did a lap with the birds. Was about to film some content, but I went inside real fast. Looked at Chief. It's on my bed. They look like they're having a blast. So I just took a fast nap with them. Again, my white kikarikis. They're doing all right. They're looking good. But yeah, guys, they are pata corta. They are really short legs. Let me grab one. The smallest one is a darker one. Again, you can see how you can kind of see how short her legs are. Very short. Very, very short. She's a small one too. I hope this is a boy, man. If this is a boy, I hope it's a boy, man. Also, uh, I don't discriminate on gender. It's just this is my my hen that had my first hatch. She actually had two hens that hatched the first time. So I just want to, you know, get a, a boy from her. I would like to have a boy because I already got two hen hens from her, you know? These guys, I think I have one hen in here and the rest are boys. I know this is a boy. The big one right there is a boy. There they go. They're getting a little friendly now. They're getting curious. They're like, what the fuck is that? My black so. This is the biggest one that I have out of all of them. I would guess he's medium, Pata Media. I can't really tell again, y'all. This is like my first uh, cross, so. Yeah, I'm excited. They're looking good, though, man. Oh, my God. I'll tell you what, man. They're starting to look really good, and they're really healthy. And it's a good feeling, man. It's a good feeling. See your work pay off, and it's just awesome. All right. And then in here, I have my BB Red Hen, Pen 1. She's chilling. Again, I'll probably let her out. Let her do her thing for a little. But she's looking really good. <laughs> Yeah, I just let her do her thing. I gotta make sure that she doesn't bother any of dad's hens. And then the pen too, I got my OEGB hen. I'm all black. She's sitting on eggs. I don't really want to bother her. This is her first time sitting. Can't wait to see how many eggs she hatches. And just for a fun fact, when hens are starting to sit and uh, lay eggs and shit, their shit starts to look big. It's just because, I don't know. Uh, for you guys who raise chickens, can y'all tell me in the comments like why it does that? I don't know exactly. But if y'all can tell me why, that should be awesome. And what I've noticed with these Sumatras, man, they are really, really really dirty when it comes to their water man yeah every time i get these guys water i've noticed that out of all the chickens in the yard their water is always like muddy always dirty i don't know if it's just because like their breed and like how they like eat and shit kind of annoying honestly i always gotta change their water because they like to get it dirty i don't know if they just like clean their beak in there or what but another fun fact man first hatch is down here she's pure oegb and those are pure kikarikis in the back again that one on the right side is going to be going on a raffle for a bonus pull
pull it, that's going with the rooster. And if you guys are interested in raffles in the future, uh, feel free to follow me at Little P Bantams on Instagram. You can follow my group for the love of Bantams on Facebook, or you can follow my personal account at MaddieXI on Instagram on all platforms. That's old man yeah. doing their thing. Uh, my dad and Nino are making a new pen for our new uh, pig. Guess my brother gave the pig's name Oreo because it's black and white. Um, and then here are the birds that we're doing for the raffle. Got him over here. Very very short legs. I really like his attitude. Uh, me personally, I just don't like this color. It's not my color that I want to breed out of my camp, but it's very nice. I really appreciate the color. And yeah, I like all birds. I just I really got him because I really like his attitude and I like how big his tail is. Again, he has everything that I like. It's just uh, his color. There you go. You can kind of see how short his legs are. It's like as big as my thumb. And then here's the other bird that's up for the raffle. Wanting us to choose which bird he wants to take home. And I will throw in a pullet. Uh, just because this is my first raffle, that's why I'm doing this. Throwing in a pullet. He's very nice. But yeah, I really just like him just because his color. And again, his shape is fucking nice and his tail. Uh, those are like the key things that I look at. Look at his attitude. <laughs> yeah, just how vegans grow their own plants and vegetables, we grow our own meat. <laughs> project that my dad and my godfather had planned today. I was just like cleaning up some poops over here. I gotta move one of my roosters because his hand is already laying down on the eggs. So I just gotta separate him. So I'm about to go grab him right now and put him in there. When you guys are catching the birds, you always wanna be gentle and calm. You don't really wanna move fast because you'll just scare them, you know? <laughs> Again, y'all, this is my Bama Sport Decox Roundhead. He's pure. I gotta see him. I'm gonna see him. He's kind of molting. Small because he's pure. His sisters are actually bigger than him. Yeah, my uncle gave me him because he is small. That's why I got him. <laughs> Again, you can see my hand. She's sitting down in there. In her little nest, her little cubby hole. And the reason why I'm doing this all for you guys who do not know, because if he wants to kill bother the hen, you know, it just will, like, sometimes they'll end up cracking the eggs um, when the rooster's trying to push him out. Or, you know what I mean? The hen, rooster's just bothering the hen. The hen. You know, all that movement is not good for the eggs, you know? Like, at the end of the day, they're still fragile eggs. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, he's kind of freaking out because it's his first time alone in a while. Uh, he's just used to being with his honey. So I'm pretty much chilling for the day. Did most of the work that we had to do. Just watering the birds. As you can see, dad over there. Water the birds with my godfather. And what I'm doing is, I created some space back here. And I've been drawing and stuff. I'm about to just paint over it. Make it solid white for when I want to doodle. Or again, just another way for me to express myself. Sometimes, you know, so many ways you could talk or say things. And sometimes when you can't get people to understand what you're trying to communicate them, the feelings that you're feeling it makes you want to explode this is just another way for me not to explode and to kind of keep myself sane is just you know whatever to get through that that wave of, of feelings you know that you can't control and again yo i'm still learning myself <laughs> you know what i mean that's why i love raising chickens and all this shit because it helps me get a different perspective and appreciate the little things you know what i mean I'm not gonna lie, this is like my first time spray painting. Ever since I went to LA and I saw my friend two block, you know, painting and stuff, and we ha sat down and had a conversation, he's inspired me not to not to be a fucking artist and paint, but you know, kind of just to give something else a try. You know what I mean? But yeah, shout out to two block for inspiring me and helping me get through a, a little chunk of my life that I needed to get to by just talking to me. I didn't get his Instagram, man, but I'm pretty sure I'll run across with him. Hopefully, we will find each other's Instagrams and you know, become friends, man. I just want, wanted to paint something. Hey, fucking look, my hand's back here. Just came back here as I was like fucking just coloring this white square rectangle. It's nice to have some company. They come and they go. Goodbye, birds. Have a great trip. Be safe. Don't be too wild in there and you have a great time, all right? What do you have the hatch? Golden gray, golden gray. It's like I